U.S. forces completed a high-altitude aerial delivery mission to combat outpost Herrera in the eastern mountains of Afghanistan. Army riggers worked alongside airmen at Kandahar Airfield, building and loading a C-130 Hercules with supply bundles equipped with Joint Precision Airdrop Systems, or JPADS. The JPADS systems is designed to basically get into smaller areas. This particular model has terrain avoidance. Uh, it's a mapping system, 10-digit grid coordinate, um, say, the Air Force is in flight and they get communication from the ground force that there's uh, hostiles in the area. The Air Force can change the coordinates to give it to a different DZ that's more secure. So sometimes it will come down, somebody needs this, and it's up to us to get it to them. So sometimes as far as their fight goes out there, it starts with us. JPADS use the same global positioning system, or GPS guidance, that enables precision strikes from smart bombs. Now it steers airdropped cargo directly to the drop zone. This mission's a little more complicated with the fact that we got the GPS guided. Um, that helps us be safer and also it's more accurate for the guys on the ground. It's a good system. It allows the uh, air crew and aircraft to uh, use standoff capability. We were able to deliver our combat uh, ordinance to our men and women on the front, uh, front lines basically put it right on their doorstep. The JPADS accurately directed the cargo containing 18,000 pounds of fuel to the troops down below. I was very impressed that uh, they were able to, to drop those bundles from, from 17,000 feet and, and uh, be able to hit their mark that way. Seeing it firsthand was quite an experience itself. So, but overall, like I said, I think it went well. You know, probably one of the uh, main ingredients is for all our missions is having the fuel, so it was great. I think it worked out really well. As soon as the, the bundle started dropping, we were able to get in our vehicles, head down to the drop zone, and we got all the items recovered. With the ability to be able to drop in the, the fuel like this, it's definitely gonna uh, keep us operational through the winter. For Asset News, I'm Staff Sergeant Josie Anderson.